All right, another upper body day, starting off with some bench press here. And I promised you guys I would get better with the tempos, and I think I finally am. So on these sets, I'm supposed to stop at the bottom of the rep for two seconds and at the top of the rep for two seconds, and it looks like I'm doing it. So I'm getting a little bit better progressing in that category, so I'm very pleased to see that. And I've always done touch and go bench press, so to actually do these pauses, I can feel a huge difference, and it really makes me wonder what my true competition one rep max is. Because I had based it off of my best, which was 275 for three reps, but that was also touch and go. So I actually set my max at 275 when figuring out what weights I should be using just to play it conservative as possible, just so I'm not missing reps. And actually, it feels about right. So the RPE that I'm supposed to be hitting seems to be pretty accurate. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there for the time being. And as I move on to some close grip bench press, one of the things I'm really struggling with right now with the close grip bench and the traditional bench is my hand positioning. The bars at this gym, they have the smooth surface that go into the gnarling, but they don't have the little ring that helps you gauge your hand position. So I keep finding my hands uneven when I do my pressing movements which makes it very uncomfortable and obviously not able to push as much weight. So I find myself re-racking the bar and trying to get settled and it's pretty annoying. So what I think I'm going to do is just go get some masking tape and tape off even areas where my hands should be. And I think that that should do the trick. As you see me move on to the Bradford press and I was able to add 10 pounds this week at the same RPE, so that was encouraging. Still not a whole lot of weight, but like I said, new to the movement, so I'm really just trying to get the form down. And if you guys see anything in the form, then please let me know, as always. And do any of you guys incorporate this movement into your routine? It's not very common, I don't think. I don't think I've actually been in a gym where anyone's done it, so. Just be interested to see if anyone has tried it and what kind of results they've gotten with it. And then I go on to the floor press. And as I've mentioned before, I really enjoy this movement. Was able to add five pounds, so I was happy about that. And nothing too exciting, but just trying to slowly progress through each movement while staying at a fairly similar RPE. But unfortunately, the cable machines were broken again this week. So I'm back on the hammer strength machine for the high pull. And I can really feel this movement. One of the things that I neglected to do last week was to pause here at the contraction for one whole second. And when you do that, it makes a big difference. So I actually had to knock the weight down a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind sacrificing weight to do it correctly. And I think this is the first time you guys have seen me do any tricep exercise on my channel. These are very burdensome to film, I feel like. I don't know why triceps are just hard to film. I guess it's just the exercises or maybe it's just me. But I got the overhead extensions on film this week and then my traditional bicep curl to end the video. Or I guess you should say hammer curl here. And that's really about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like the video if you did. And subscribe to the channel to follow along for more. I will see you guys next time.